here at Cape Cod Wet Shaven. How you doing? No history shave today. Today I'll be doing a review video. I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, I am, however, very excited for it. This is a product that I happen to stumble by sheer chance upon, and um, it's local. So, very excited about it. So, today I will be reviewing a company called Shave Base. This is a soap. I have a pre-shave oil and I have post-shave balm from this company. Hopefully, there. here we go. Focus a little better. You can see that. So, uh, first thing I saw on Instagram was this label with the uh, lighthouse on it. Um, living on Cape Cod, i.e. in New England, that's a very prominent symbol of New Englanders is the uh, lighthouse. I'm not saying there's only lighthouses in New England only, but it's primarily where I see them. Coffee of the day, by the way, Pete's Holiday Blend. So that's what I'm sipping on here. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the um, ingredients. I'll put those on the screen over my face, and then I'm going to read off some about the company and everything. All right. So I'm going to do the pre-shave oil, then the soap, then the balm for ingredients. Okay, right? Here's ingredients for pre-shave oil. So I uh, came across them by sheer chance. The uh, company was started in 2018. The owner of the company is a guy named Chris Newman. Um, just started talking to him. That should be enough for the ingredients for that. There we go. I'm doing this so I know where to edit. And here's the ones for the soap. Um, if you need to pause to read these, go for it. Uh, his name's Chris Newman. He's based in uh, Westboro, Massachusetts, which coincidentally is only about an hour and 20, hour and 30 minutes away from where I live. Um, be a fact, his main job is done with that. Post shave bomb. Ready? Um, his main job, they have a branch here in my hometown. So pretty cool. But um, came across this. Liked it immediately, looked at the ingredients. As you can see with the ingredients, they're pretty damn good. Um, I did have a soap, on, a, soap, a soap on here I reviewed, also from the Cape, that was terrible. So, done with that. It was a glorified bath soap. I, I was wet behind the ears, no pun intended. A little bit, wet shaving. And didn't know any better, so I just did a video, lathered. I kept the video up, it's still there to this day, but it, it was terrible. I am excited about this one, so. Um, so the, let's see, 2010 Westboro. So shave, www.shavebase.com is where you can find these products. Um, so I have three products. They also have three other ones on their website. Okay. They have a uh, shave cream, a face scrub and a post shave oil. So this is what I really like about these. Uh, the price of this, the pre-shave oil, $10. Okay. Shave soap. This is a uh, barber shop. I don't know if you saw that when I held it up. Of course, I'm going to buy my barber shops, my favorite scent profile. Barber shop uh, puck is $12 and the balm is also $10. So the shave cream is 12 bucks. The face scrub is 12 bucks and the post shave oil. If you can believe this is the most expensive thing on there at a whopping $13. So you are not going to break the bank with these products. They're very, very good. So what I'm going to do for this video is I have my brush soak in here and I'm going to bloom this uh, soap and then one side of my face, I'm going to use my uh, Naked Armor 7 8 straight razor. I was just going to do a straight razor shave for the whole thing, but I decided to do half and half. And at the other half of my face, I'm going to use my 1920s ball handle Gillette. And I picked this because it's super aggressive. One of the most aggressive razors I have. So. Um, we'll know if I get a good shave, but, um, let me go ahead and I'm going to show you the puck. It is in a tin. A lot of people might not like that. I don't mind the tins at all. I take care of my, my stuff. I mean, everything gets wet. It's wet shaving, but, um, I do try to dry out and make sure things are as dry as possible. I even let the puck sit out for a, about 10 minutes or so. I put it on a soap dish, one of the wooden ones. So to avoid rust in the tin, but. Oh, there's the soap, all right? So the scent notes, it's a true barbershop. It's bergamot, 
basil, oak moss, white patchouli. It's very strong out of the uh, out of the tin, which I like. A lot of people might not. I don't know. It's your preference. Obviously, some people like strong, some like mild. This is pretty strong. I like strong because I bought the soap for the scent. I would like to smell like it. But three inch puck. Very nice. Hard. So I am going to balloon it. I will do that. And then I will put on the uh, pre-shave oil, all that stuff. And give me about five, ten minutes. Let me balloon this. I'll get to shaving. Be right back. All right. <laughs> so I did notice this. I was about to put it in the mug. It is angled. So it is angled for a mug. Thought I'd throw that in too. Alrighty, so it's actually been about closer to seven minutes. That's okay. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is that the uh, he does have a bay rum and unscented and the barber shop. The bay rum and barber shop are actually very new. Uh, they were just released, I believe, the twentieth of December, this past December. So about fifteen days ago, less than a month old. These are newly released. I didn't know that. Starting this, so I am excited about this one. It is vegan. I forgot to mention that as well. Nothing wrong with that at all. And I will be using an Astro Blade for the uh, safety razor. So, I wanted to show that so there's no gimmicks. It's a second use for the Astro. Second and third are my favorite uses for a razor, or a blade. Just smooth out from the first shave, you know. And I didn't want to go cuckoo, like feathers or something, you know, Gillette rubies. Something like that with, with this aggressive razor. So, you get this thing replated. All right. Let's go ahead and get lathering. I am using a bore brush, a mega bore. I think I could have easily gotten away with a badger brush. But I like bore brushes and just to be on the safe side. I think it's going to be fine. Honestly. Got my big old Colonel Conk mug. I'm gonna go ahead and get to lathering. Just put a little, I have two mugs here. One for soaking, one for lathering. So, there it is. Oh, the smell comes off of it really nice. And that's about what I figured, lathering right up. It is a hard soap. But it's lathering right up. See? Pardon the noise. Some people hate that sound. I don't mind it. Okay, maybe a little. <laughs> Lathering like a champ. Lathering very well. Just got to find the sweet spot for it. But it's lathering right up. Here we go. Oh man, it smells really good. I like it a lot, the smell. The scent on it's fantastic. Uh, it's kind of an in between. It's not necessarily, it is sweet. It's not powdery. Not really. Not like some other ones I've smelled. But it is definitely a true barbershop. And again, the guy's name is Chris. I haven't really spoken to him a ton. I don't know him quite very well. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, these were not free. I actually purchased these. And talk between talking to him and... Uh, You know, him being local and stuff, and the fact that I've never heard of these products. I asked him, would you like me to do a review? And he was like, yeah, absolutely, because he did ask me for feedback. He said, any feedback would be appreciated. I said, absolutely no problem. Better yet, I have a YouTube channel, I'll do a review. And is that okay? He said, absolutely, he would be flattered. So, there's the leather. I do got some bubbles in it. 
I think I need to thick, thicken it up just a tad, but I think that's good right there. And I am going to take that to the face. So $12 for this puck. And that puck's going to last you a while. That's a really hard soap. I don't know if he's... I'm still not an expert on the puck, but I think the puck... Is it cold pressed? Triple milled to get it that hard? I know triple milled soap is pretty hard. But as far as that being triple milled, I have no idea. So let me go ahead and do the pre-shave oil. The only thing in this collection that's scented is the soap. So it does come with a pump, which I like. It says two squirts. I'm going to do six. And I learned that because of the facial hair. I don't just do the shave area, I do the beard hair too, because I want it to soak to the roots, get the, you know, two birds, one stone, that kind of thing. Yeah, typical smell of pre-shave oil. Again, not scented. In my review videos are longer, I don't edit anything. Not really. I'll do some mild editing here and there, and even then that's just more adding pictures or something like that. I have found that people actually enjoy the video straight through. I, I know I should edit for time. That's the norm. Excuse the water. That's why I brought the sprayer. I'm trying to avoid that. But I, I've had a lot of people compliment that they like this. It. just... Seems more true. All right. Maybe I'm a little lazy. Toss some laziness in there, too. Whatever. And I make a mess wet shaving, don't I? That's all right. You know, it'd be hilarious if I went on Amazon and bought a lobster bib and wore that. And just not tell a single person, just do it. People be watching the videos like, is that his like shtick? Is that why he's doing that? So another reason I lathered first. Was I wanted to do, or to, did the pre-shave oil first, excuse me, and lathered first and then did the pre-shave oil. That's what I meant to say. So I wanted to see how the suds help hold up just sitting there. And they hold up quite well. Look at that. All right. This is some good lather. Look at that. All right. To the face we go. So I've only been to Westboro. I almost said Middleboro. I've only been to Westboro, I think, once. And that was on my way to something, so technically I didn't go. I just drove through it. So I don't know that much about it. I do know it's west of Boston. It's like on an even keel with Boston, you know, latitude, longitude-wise. But it's west of the city of Boston. Maybe I didn't drive through it. We were near it. I do remember specifically being in and seeing signs for it, all that. We went to something for it. I can't remember what. In that general direction. All right. The same thing. I don't shave the mustache, but I do load my facial hair with the soap. Just why not? There's so much good stuff in soaps. Absorbs into the hair, goes to the roots. It's a good lather. Man, that smells really good. I love the smell of this. Mmm. It goes down maybe a, a hair. Maybe. It reaches a comfortable level. It never really dissipates. 
but it smells really damn good. So if you like barbershops, this is a really good barbershop scent. All right. So seven eighths naked armor Solomon. Um, I did strop this, so it is shave ready. And so am I. Shouldn't have worn the hat. That's all right. My hair is a mess. Ready? Trying to get the sideburn even. Good cushion. Oops, sorry. Should I give you a better view than that? Oop. Forgot to move the mustache. Nicked off the hair. That's all right. If I'm good. Frame there. Cushion's really good. Pretty slick too. Huh. All right. Hard part. Trying not to get the beard or the mustache. Dun, dun, dun. I know I'm going all kinds of crazy directions here. guys it's slick suds are still in the mug hanging on there it is drying a little that might have been me not adding enough water yeah look at that I think it was Go ahead and get under the chin, under the neck. Move that out of the way. And here's the mug just sitting there. Lather doesn't dissipate at all. There's some good stuff. The other pucks I have, I have a ton of them. But the ones I've used, that people know I've used, Include Mug, Arco, I love Arco, a lot of people don't, I love it. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and do both sides with the razor. And then I'll do touch up with the, uh... no, mm. no, I'll just do one side with the straight, and then I'll do the straight razor, or the uh, safety razor for the other side. I haven't straight razor shaved in a while, so I'm happy to do it. And let me just do this. Uh, I know my angle's wrong. Don't worry. Just trying to find the. All right. Let's get the sideburn. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Arco mug. I have some Caldwell Hill Farm. I have. Um, there's another farm. I have a few that aren't really widely known. I'll go ahead and wipe this off. For those who don't use a straight razor. Don't rinse. For something that you use to shave your face, water is the enemy. I always wipe. Or you can rinse, it's yours. Just be careful because you don't want to get it in the scales. 
Don't want to get in between the scales. So, all right. This is going to be a long video, but whatever. Let's get that spot. I don't use pucks as often. Oh, a naked armor. Did I mention that? I have a naked armor puck. I have a few. It's called Noah's. Noah's uh, soap puck. Pretty good. I like it a lot. It's also vegan. Very nice citrus forward. There's extra work involved with pucks, but I, I like it. Alright, here we go. What I am going to say about this stuff, for $12. I don't know how he'll, what he'll think of me saying this. Hopefully others don't get mad at me for it. But I think he might be charging a little too little, a little, a little too little, a little less than he should because this, I have a zit that I've been after for about two weeks now. This won't go away. I think it's an ingrown hair. But I'm being really careful around that. So if you see me kind of, hesitating that's why but i did just go over it with this bad boy and nothing um a lot of cushion with this soap pretty slick pretty slick now as far as his ingredients i don't know if he lists them in the order of amount um, for those who know Fernando from Master Soap Creations, he, he had told me flat out he doesn't list them in order, or at least when I, when he first started getting big in the States, because he didn't want people replicating. But I think the FDA makes you list by amount. So if that is the case, then glycerin is, where does it begin? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ninth in the ingredients. So. The pre-shave oil I didn't leave on long enough. I figured that'd be the case. I didn't want to bloom, then pause, and pre-shave, then pause. I should have, maybe, just to let the pre-shave soak soak in the uh, hairs and into my skin and my pores for a couple minutes. But that's all right. I definitely need to add water to that. See how it's streaking. I should have used it. I'll use a, a badger. Next time I use this stuff, I'll use a badger brush. So once it foams, I think I would have actually gotten maybe a little bit of a poofier lather. This isn't fully broken in either, I don't think. I don't use that one very often. The yellow. But this is a good soap. I'm going to uh, do my thing once I do this video, upload it, and then I'm going to go onto Instagram and post that I recommend it. I mean, $12, come on. And the scent has lingered throughout. So even now I smell it and I like it.
very well done. I gotta commend Chris on that. In fact, I think I'm gonna go grab his bay rum. Because in the scent description of his bay rum was orange peel. I don't think I saw clove, which definitely gets my interest. There's nothing wrong with clove in a bay rum. Just like I mentioned in my Sterling video, it's just easy to overdo the clove. Very easy. So, hard part. If I cut myself right here, for those who don't know, my hair grows down and then right here it does this. And I call it the windstorm. And that part is really hard to get. And with an aggressive razor... I almost always, even with a normal razor, I almost always nick myself right here. So if that happens, it's not the soap, it's me. And I try to keep the angle persistent throughout, and sometimes I don't. And so I nick myself. success and there's that lather still just sitting there waiting so it is a little thirsty so once it lathers and it sits there you got to keep adding water to it or I just didn't add enough to begin with which might be the case. I'm still, but I am going to add a little bit of water. It's thirsty. I just added a hair. I did go to the puck again. Just a little bit, but the puck's pretty hard. It's not a lot I'm taking off of it. But I did add water to the foam that was in here. And it just reactivated. Look at that. Me likey. So since I have extra lather, I'm just going to lather up one more time. Whoop. Let it sit here. And then I'm going to rinse and I'm going to use the post shave balm. I'm not going to use the splash. That's the only thing I wish he had a splash. He has a post shave oil, as I aforementioned, and the post shave balm. So I opted for the post shave balm. But for the price, man, I might. If I'm going for the Bay Rum, I think I might just... I'm kind of curious about that face scrub. I might just go for the whole shebang. He only has, what, six, seven products? For now. I hope this helps him get out there. So, let me rinse. I'll be right back. All right. Not that bad. 30-minute review video. I think, what's the norm? Review videos are supposed to be like five minutes, I think. <laughs> Oh, whatever. So, post shave. Pretty good. Pretty good. No redness. Well, aside from the razor I used. Not even that, surprisingly. No irritation. Good post shave. So, balm time. There's green tea, leaf extract, chamomile, eucalyptus leaf, yes, lavender, tea tree, essential oil, bayberry extract, um, bayberry, apricot kernel oil, man, there's some good stuff in here. Um, soothes, hydrates, freshly shaved skin, no added scents. Disperse two pumps into hand, massage on the face, I'm going to do four. There we go. I've had, I did six, might regret that, I noticed with some bombs and stuff a little goes a long way and I always overestimate, um, I've had some bombs where the pump doesn't work, which is aggravating because then I got to take the lid off and then just run my finger down the straw, or whatever it's called, the suction tube. 
That's cool. There's a slight scent to it, but that's just ingredients. Not overwhelming at all. It's not going to bury the scent of the soap. The scent of the soap is still there. Oh, put some on my nose. Get some under my eyes. There's some good stuff in there. I would like to, so when I use this from now on, I'm going to use a splash with it. And I think, you know, it'd be good to use any barbershop, Sterling Barbershop, Brooktown Grooming Lafayette, you know, SMG soaps. I have his splash, any barbershop splash would go very well with it, pair, pair nicely. And if you want a more powdery barbershop, this is close to it, but if you did, obviously with the splash. Oh. All right. Pretty good. All right, guys. That'll do it. Here's the puck. And here's the lather I have left. Oh, smells good. So again, $12. Try it out. Definitely. Made in Massachusetts. It's 3.6 ounces too. Just, uh, you know, half an ounce shy of four, not half an ounce, almost four ounces. So 3.6 ounces. Um, three inch puck. I think I mentioned all that, but you can't go wrong with that price. 12 bucks and pre-shave oil, $10. This $10. So the whole set, 30 bucks. Oh, and I got free shipping. I don't know if he has a cutoff, if, if all of it's free shipping, no matter what you get, or if there's a cutoff of like 30 bucks, but I got, I got free shipping. So not bad at all. Um, that'll just about do it. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go get the Bay Rum. I think I'm going to try his other products too. So love the lighthouse. Obviously just don't know. I mean, the door was open this whole time. Whoopsie. And yeah, that's the lighthouse from the post. So. My son's home sick, so I'll check it on. That was embarrassing. I'm trying to remember what was on TV, the news, I think. Glad I wasn't watching one of my World War II documentaries. You hear bringing Hitler in the background or something. That would have been embarrassing. Anywho, all right, that'll do it. Great stuff. Um, a lot of y'all know me. I'm going to go ahead and say I recommend this stuff, especially for 12 bucks. Um, Chris, if you watch this, man, it's, it's cool getting to know you. And talking to you, meeting you and all that stuff. Really good products, man. I like them a lot. So definitely going to uh, throw this in my rotation. Especially local. I, I can't quit saying that. I, I'm very happy I found more of a local artisan. So good deal. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, again, that's www.shavebase.com is where you can find this good stuff. Appreciate it. Till next time.